Yo, what's up guys, Raw Autism here, and in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about Andy. Now what is Andy? No, Andy is not my great uncle that left me millions of dollars and uh, let me live a happy, rich life. No, Andy is a new Android emulator, similar to Bluestacks, which uh, I have been using Bluestacks for about a year now. And I always felt that it was outdated, you know what I mean? It was just, if you've ever used Bluestacks, um, it's not it's not the most up-to-date program there is. Also, their live support is horrible. It is literally horrible. It's some guy that answers like one out of every 500 questions on the website, and nothing ever gets resolved. He doesn't answer questions, shit like that. All right, so Andy, there we go. We're on the page right now, and you're going to want to hit download. And I'll put a link in the description to this website. It's andyroid.net. You're going to hit download. It's going to start downloading, but the power of YouTube is going to let me skip right through this for you guys so we're not sitting around. All right, now once it is downloaded, this is the screen that will pop up first. And don't ask me why I have my YouTube in the background. I should have clicked out of that. But all right, as you can see, it says Android when you're starting it. This program is made for Android exclusively, and the best part about it is it also works on Macs. Bluestacks did not work on a Mac computer. Andy does. Now, also, Andy runs on a newer operating system, a uh, new Android operating system. It's more up-to-date, and they also make a promise for, you, for them to uh, keep updating it for any new software that comes out, stuff like that. So once you first uh, get onto the screen, it says Andy is updating, and then it says welcome. You're going to want to select your language on this screen here. Of course, we're going to go with English. Press start, and uh, it's going to start connecting. As you can see, it says the tablet, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute. The next screen will be this. Do you have a Google account? You're going to want to hit yes. Put in. I skipped through it, but put in uh, your Google account you want to use. We're going to hit not now for the Google Wallet. Um, and then it's got a bunch of sync options for you. You can just go right through. I skipped through them on the video. Your tablet is set up and ready to use. Now notice how it says your tablet. That's because Andy is basically like downloading a tablet onto your computer. It works like a tablet. It feels like a tablet. Uh, it displays like a tablet. It's basically having a tablet on your computer like I said. Now at this screen right here, you're going to want to enter your Gmail info in again. And once you do that, it takes you to this screen. Now, this is the main user interface of Andy. You can notice, unlike Bluestacks, it has more of a device feel to it. Um, I like the way it's set up, and it already has the Play Store over here on the right. You don't have to type anything in or download the Play Store. It takes you right into it by one click of a button, and then you're going to want to type in up here whatever app you're looking for and go ahead and start downloading apps. And my app of choice, of course, is Castle Clash. That is mainly what my YouTube channel is about. So we're gonna go ahead and install Castle Clash and uh, <clears throat> see what's going on. Now, I did try this app out previous to this and it ran very smooth. I have a feeling that if you're having problems running Bluestacks, it is such an older uh, program that this one will wa work better for you so go ahead and try it and let me know what you think also if you can see I clicked on the little internet icon down there and I really like that you can go ahead and browse the internet uh, through Andy if you so choose and it's gonna sync you up here take you right to Google and then you're free to search whatever you want we're gonna search Castle Clash of course um, and that's just to show you you know how it's pretty quick. I'm experiencing a little lag on my computer probably because I was running another program at the time. But uh, when I first ran through this and used this, um, used Andy, it was running very smooth. I was actually really surprised at how smooth it was running. All right, let's Google myself. Google me, bro. <laughs> All right, yeah, so we're just messing around. Um, let's go ahead and click images and see what pops up. See if I pop up. Come on, Raw Tism. There we go. There I am. Ronald, baby. There it is. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm definitely not Ronald. But uh, if you <laughs> Google Raw Tism, you see some pretty weird shit. And all right, guys, I'm just messing around. So we're going to go back. It has a lot of settings for you to customize uh, throughout the user interface. You can go ahead and search through that. It's got basically everything a tablet would come with. 
And um, the best part about it is it has no memory. You know what I mean? When you use this, you can. there's no memory to it. You can download as many apps as you want without fear of running out of memory. Um, also with this, you can use your tablet or phone as a controller for your game. So you can sit back and uh, use your device as a controller while you look at the screen, which I thought was pretty awesome as well. Now I heard about Andy because uh, one of the developers contacted me via YouTube and um, that got me to test this out and I was really happy that he did because I do prefer this over Bluestacks guys. Um, it's just an all around better option. It's newer. It's uh, you know the live support. I've heard nothing but good things about the live support should you have any problems. But it's really simple. You saw me go through it and set it all up. So we're downloading Castle Clash, guys. All right, there we go. We're playing our first app. But all right, I just wanted to get the word out about Andy. Um, hopefully, you guys give it a try if you're BlueStacks users. I really do recommend this over BlueStacks. Thanks, as always, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. And if you made it this far in the video, you might as well subscribe for future videos. I would really appreciate it. And uh, that's all there is to it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.